We're going to show you how to remove and reinstall the storage bin on the 987. This will be helpful if yours is damaged and you'd like a new one. We're going to remove this panel on the passenger on the right side using a T27. It's a hidden screw, so you just look around and feel around in the hole and it should click in. As it comes loose, we just remove this and we detach this plug by squeezing on the two plastic connectors. It pulls right out. Now we do the same thing on the left side. We just feel around for this little hole here. Just wiggle it a little. This little bracket goes on here. So you might just have to use two hands, hold it in place, and then reinstall it. So we'll just keep these two as a set. Check out the video logs for these workbenches. Next, we're going to remove these leather clad side panels and they are attached using two T20, regular T20 Torx heads. Both Torx. There are three clips, one, two, and three, and you want to be uniformly applying pressure from the middle out towards the front. The objective is to disengage one, two, three clips without breaking them, hopefully in place. So I'm pulling. And if you haven't taken these panels out in a while, the clips might be a little finicky. There we go. Successfully broken none of them. Do the driver's side. And stay organized to make life easy. We pull a little at the bottom first to disengage the bottom clips because all three didn't come out at once. And clip in, clip integrity check. three clips are good. And this is what your boxer should look like at this point. The climate control is super easy. There are tabs on the left and right sides of the climate control unit. If you press on those, the climate control slides out and you can detach the connectors at the back by pressing down on their tabs and pulling. They only go back in one way, so you don't even need to worry about what order the connectors go in. To remove the spoiler and stability module control piece, press in on the tabs on the sides and disconnect the connectors. They also only go back in one way. With the storage bin screws in a tackable position and the upper components out of the way, remove the Torx screws left and right of the storage bin. We removed the upper components so we didn't have to press down on the storage compartment tab and possibly bend the storage compartment. Pull the storage bin out. Excuse the reversed footage, but do not use power tools to reinsert the Torx screws. Reinsert them using hand tools, because the plastic strips easily and reinsert the bin. Similarly reversed footage, the button control connector goes right back in and it slides right back into the rails. The connectors go in one way and then the unit slides into the rails on the sides and clips in. And here's a close-up of how it should look when reinserted. For the leather panels, align the three clips on the sides, opening the glove box helps, and simply click them into place, inserting them straight in. And that's how they should look. Get the Torx screws that you set aside for the leather panels for the top and bottom, and reinsert them, not using power tools. In some of the clips you'll about to see, we do tighten them with power tools set on a low setting, but to avoid stripping the Torx, it's better to actually stick to hand tools. The carpet trim, first we insert the little metal bracket thingy to hold the screw in, then we simply insert and align this plastic tab under the space in the leather panel, and then insert the screw, the Torx screw, into the metal bracket, and this we should hand tighten instead of using weak power tools. And there we go! Thanks for watching, and if this has helped you, please consider subscribing and liking the video.